Two of the team's ball girls survived the shooting in Las Vegas where 58 other people died. They tell CBS's Jamie Yukis how returning to a crowd helps them feel normal. Amy Moore and Christina Zambrana are proud to throw like girls. I think they're always surprised when they see us throw for the first time because they think, oh, it's a girl. They're probably not going to be able to yeah. throw far, probably not going to be able to throw hard. <laughs> then we throw and they're just like, whoa. The Dodgers they help warm up before a game have become fans. Third baseman Justin Turner is the co MVP of the National League Championship Series. I've watched them play catch. They don't throw like girls. They, they have good arms, and, uh, you know, our guys don't take it easy on them either. There aren't many with bucket seats for the World Series. Sitting down the lines, it's their job to protect fans from hard hit foul balls. Nice catch. But earlier this month, there was no one to protect them. When gunfire erupted at the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas, where they were in the middle of 22,000 concert goers. The noise and how loud it was, we thought it was on the ground. I looked over and there's people falling from getting shot and getting trampled running towards us. Moore and Zambrana hid under a table before lessons from Moore's family kicked in. Her dad is a retired Los Angeles police officer. Her brother Kevin is currently on the force and was also at the concert. And I just remembered what my dad and brother had always told me. If anything like this were to happen, you can't just sit. You have to get up and run because you're a sitting duck. Go, go, go. Gripped by fear, they ran, crashing through a barricade and scaling a six-foot wall. In the commotion, Moore lost a sandal and tore up her yes. foot running on rocks. She, said, she looked at me and said, I can't run anymore. And I said, here, jump on my back. And away we went. When the Dodgers learned the two survived, many reached out, including outfielder Yasiel Puig. And he texted us to uh, say, like, hey, I heard you were there. Are you okay? I'm so glad you made it out. They're it still was, dealing with the emotional scars. You know, it's still hard to look back on and believe that we made it out. The boys of summer brought them together, but in the aftermath of a national tragedy, they became sisters within the Dodger family. We're so fortunate and blessed to be a part of this organization. Jamie Yukis, Los Angeles.